and welcome guys so here's a new episode and we're gonna do a cable delete in the engine bay uh, what I find most pleasuring is when you open the hood and you only see the engine and then everything else is flush so no rivets no cables nothing so that's what we're gonna do today and so what I'm thinking about is the thick ones like this relay box is gonna be moved all the cable harness we're gonna move the um, the canister for all the water and yeah everything's gonna be de deleted and we're gonna do it flush and nice so stay tuned for that so I have a good friend over he's helping me out with soldering all the cables uh, so for the cable delete in the engine bay and I hope he has everything <laughs> in his head look at this mess so he's soldering all the cables together so we get longer ones so we can take them in the wheel weld instead. I don't remember if you actually uh, remember how it looked, but on the in the on the strut tower now on the right side of the car, everything's taken away. A huge shout out to Christopher. Uh, he's helping me out in soldering and uh, doing the cables longer, so we can route them some uh, another way. And a huge shout out as always to Robin Jagat. Uh, he sticks around and helps me out. I couldn't do this without my friends. I do a lot of the cars and I had the thoughts and the ideas are actually from me. It's my designs, but without the good friends I have here uh, in the workshop, I wouldn't be able to do the cars that I do. So thank you guys. Huge thank you. I really appreciate it, okay? But if you remember how I looked with all the the thick cable harnesses and the the canisters for different um, parts for the engine look how it looks right now so it's pretty empty right now we had the thick cables three of them coming from up here and then we had the canister um, for power steering and some other details here uh, what uh, Christopher did he did route the cable harness he in here. Oh, sorry bad lights, but you can see it begins from here um, We're gonna tuck this in in behind here, and then he actually disappears and What we actually did here uh, Mia and uh, Robin we did remove the water tank um, and The canister for power steering and we moved them in front of here instead so we custom made a bracket and so we have the power steering here in the center and we're gonna reroute the, the hoses and then actually for we did some some brackets to hold up the water container for the cooling water Christopher is gonna uh, prelong these cables do the same I don't know if we're gonna reroute them on the inside of the the, um, the frame or reroute them into the fender what I'm not gonna delete I can always paint them so it looks better or nice it's actually the um, AC tubes um, they are routed here and I'm we're gonna have the air cold intake or the piping for the air cold uh, intake uh, passing over there so I don't think they're gonna be visible but yeah, this is the engine bin right now. It doesn't look much, but I'm gonna hold the camera still here and just remember how it looked. And then when we are at the first car show, I'm gonna go around the whole car and just um, get as many before and after pictures so you can see the, the, the tough work and the hours. Um, just, just giving results, you know? 
Hey guys, what's up? So we're at a different location. I'm using another shop, but we're gonna port the uh, upper uh, manifold today. I'm just gonna go through some steps and the tools I use and hopefully you're interested. But here we got the uh, upper manifold. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to shine some light there for you. But you can see that groove in there. So that's how much material I actually have uh, to spare and to grind down and make it smooth. Uh, the mission here is to make the airflow as sufficient as possible and yeah, let's begin. So guys, after a couple of hours digging into this uh, manifold, I think we just have one port left, but um, this is only the first stage. I'm just going to show you how the first stage looks and I'm going to try to get some lights in there. You can actually see here. So the black parts in the right, that's what I missed. So uh, those cavities, uh, we should get away but I thought we could do that with uh, finer sandpaper so I'm I'm currently at 220 uh, grid and we're gonna go up to 400 and finish this off and just to show you the comparison I'm in the manifold at the you can see here it's quite nice and smooth but as I said, finish up with 400. But look at this. This is the finished, almost the finished part. And then you can see the original OEM part. Uh, here you can actually see. Can you see that hill or that notch? It's really, really high. So that's where we're trying to get away. And that's all around here. So this is going to be ported out, better flow, finish up with 400 grid and smooth and nice. And this is actually the pile of plastic that I took away. These are the tools I'm currently using. It's uh, this one. It takes, that's, be, guys, be careful with this. This goes really, really quick in the plastic. I'm finishing off here. You can see it's a 220 grid. Then I'm, we're gonna finish off 400, maybe go in by hand later on to get everything done. But as you can see, first stage is finished. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day here. Uh, I have to work again. And now it's the lower uh, manifold that we're gonna tackle. And it's the same procedure I would say as yesterday. We're gonna use the same tools. Uh, uh, a bit harder grid now because it's aluminium it's not plastic and um, our manifold uh, looks like this right now I've already begun but as you can see in here you can see the casting um, line here and that's a cavity that we want to get away and you can see that I've been doing um, the grinding and the import uh, side and um, this is how it actually looks on every single port. So we're gonna get that away. And then we have on the um, injector sides, these knuckles. The knuckles we're gonna just smoothen out a little bit more. Uh, we don't wanna go through the casting. But yeah, that's the process. And uh, it's not much more to actually show more than this. Here you can actually see what I'm haven't been touching yet and then on the other side what I've been touching so this is the first stage uh, of the grinding and you can see that I'm smoothing out all the radius in here and taking away all the um, unevenness in the ports and this is of course going to be polished so we're going to have high flow in here and hopefully this will uh, give us some horsepower but yeah here you can see in the radius it's quite uneven we want to smooth that out and just keep on cracking because 
yesterday with the plastic uh, manifold, I think around about four and a half hours, four hours it took me with some breaks. Um, I already been doing this for over two hours. So that's going to be maybe four hours uh, in total, eight hours, eight to nine hours and hope we show on the dyno. So we will wait and see. This is actually from the channels when I took up the manifold. This is how much we're taking away. And that's only from one side. But yeah, now you know. This is how much we actually want to try to get away, or even more. So guys, I actually saw that I didn't do an ending for today's video and everything's done, everything polished and nice. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you, but you're gonna see it next time. But I actually have a big game changer, a big surprise for the next episode. So tune in and next Sunday to see the news of the build. It's gonna be epic. And I just want to say thank you for actually watching today's video and I uh, hope to see you next time. But have a nice evening, morning or afternoon wherever you are and thank you again. Bye bye. Hey door.